Now, come on, hang up. Hang up. <laughs> Good night, dear. What are you in town for? Just some errands. What are you doing with yourself? Rehearsing. Is that all? What more would you expect? I'm just curious to know what you did with your day apart from rehearsing. Well, if you're interested, I get up in the morning and I brush my teeth. And then I have breakfast and I read the morning paper. What about Mr. Philip Adams? What about him? Mr. Adams was here last weekend. And he's taken a permanent suite, one floor below you. How do you know? Alfred. You mean Philip told Alfred he was here? Not Philip. Scotland Yard. Scotland Yard? Scotland Yard doesn't allow new members of NATO to wander around without knowing where they go. Oh, for heaven's sakes. <laughs> Anything else they know? Everything else they know. You can take my word for it. Well, the country's come to a fine state. Peeping toms, spying. I didn't come here to show you that I've been snooping. I've got something unpleasant to tell you. And I'm dreading it. What is it? Mr. Philip Adams is a married man. I know. How do you know? He told me. He told you? Is he getting a divorce? He never can. Where? Well, I am over 21. Are you doing the right thing? I don't know. I have no choice. I did have in the beginning, but not now. You love him? Terribly. Don't you hope to marry him? Yes. It's never out of my mind. May I ask the purpose of your visit? <clears throat> Business or pleasure? Pleasure. Holiday? Go to him. Darling, I'll miss you terribly. I'll walk into a crowded room and someone will be standing the way you stand. He'll hold his head the way you hold your head, the way you hold your knife and fork. I don't hold my knife and fork in any special way. Yes, you do. You hold your fork straight up as a little boy does. You do, Arthur. Fine, thank you. How are you?
are here, here. <laughs> Now you stay down here, and I'll go up and be charming. And keep your fingers crossed. Why can't I go with you? Oh, this is a very delicate and diplomatic matter. I don't want you to put your foot in it. I deal with diplomatic matters every day without feet. Promise not to say anything. I won't say a word. Now, now wait a minute. Does it have to be the sea witch? Why that particular yacht? Please, please, it has to be. I once was a guest on it. It must be the sea witch. Oh, oh. And don't say a word. Oh, I won't, I won't. How do you do? Good day, Miss Cannon. Uh, Mr. Finn is expecting you. Miss Kalman, sir. Hello, Mr. Finley. How nice to let me come on such short notice. My pleasure entirely, I assure you. This is Mr. Philip Adams, an American friend of mine. Mr. Adams is with NATO. Really? An admirable organization. How do you do, sir? How do you do? Well, Mr. Finley spoke to me. I had to say something. Now, you're just in time. Would you like some tea? Oh, no, thank you. Would you, sir? Yes, please. You see, he did it again. I had to do it again. I, uh, I saw you in your present play, Miss Kalman, and I'd like to take the opportunity to tell you how very much I enjoyed your performance. <laughs> Thank you. As a matter of fact, I saw it twice. Several months ago, and uh, only last week when the Duke gave a theatre party. Uh, he likes you, too. Oh, well, now. I like the part where you stand in the doorway. Go, you foolish young man, and shut the door behind you. Uh, in the second act. Oh, why, Mr. Finley, you have missed your true calling. You should be on the stage. <laughs> well, now, what can I do for you? Well... I've heard a rumor that it is possible, just possible, to charter the sea witch. So I took it upon myself to speak to the captain. And he said that it might be possible, but only for the month of October. But my vacation is the first two weeks of July. Is there, please, dear Mr. Finley, is there a chance that the Duke would let me charter it for two weeks in July? I'm Terribly sorry you didn't tell me your business on the phone. I could have saved you the trip. The Duke's not the owner anymore. He's sold the Sea Witch. Oh, no. I am sorry. Oh, I couldn't be more disappointed. Oh, well. Never mind. Cheer up. It can't be helped. Come along. Here's the deed not filed yet. Uh, I didn't handle the transaction. The new owner is a Philip Adams. Well, at least you're sure of it for the first two weeks in July. You bought it? I said it was a bargain. But did you ever see it? Uh, no, but I saw the photograph. Why did you buy it? We only wanted it for two weeks. Because it came with a dock. That's real estate. It's very valuable. I didn't own any real estate in England. What's that got to do with it? You don't own anything in Honolulu either. Yes, I do. Another fellow and I own a canning factory there. You don't understand these things. It's called scattering your risk. You invest in different places. Thank you for the tea, Mr. Finley. But aren't you, Mr. Adams? Give my regards to the Duke. Goodbye, Mr. Finlay.
I know why you spend so much money on me. Why? Your conscience. You feel you have to make it up to me. Oh, that's not true. I buy you presents because I like to please you. I wish you didn't have any money. I wonder if I would have said that if you had not just bought a yacht. Well, let's believe you would. Well, what about this one? Uh, I don't know. I like the yellow one. But there's a risk Mrs. Williams has one like it. Only thing, I don't know if she's wearing it tonight. Well, I can soon find that out. How? You can't ask her. I wouldn't give them the satisfaction. I simply drop in to see Mrs. Williams's maid, chit-chat with her while she lays out Madam's things, and there we are. Oh, you're a genius, Doris. Ask them what colored dress they're wearing. She's so happy, Carl. She's happy now, but for how long? What's the matter with you? Well, what's to come of it? to come of it. Oh, can't go on like this. Why not? A man, a wife, another woman. I think about that. Couldn't be better. We have things wonderful. The play is going beautifully. Good. Oh, when love is right, everything is right. Oh, how true. What can I do for you? Come and have some tea. Oh, thank you. I have some on the plane. I have some on mine. Well, if I must. Well? Out with it. What do you mean, out with it? The reason you're early. <laughs> You're the most transparent man I ever saw. I hope NATO isn't trusting you with any secrets. Oh, you'd be surprised. Let's hear one. Oh, you would be surprised, Madahari. I just tell me if it's unpleasant or not. I always look at the end of the book. I can never wait. 